And here we finally are in beautiful, beautiful Dartmoor, where the annual flower show seems to have brought some good weather with it. And in the middle of England too. Huh, who would have thunk it? Hello, sir, I don't believe I need a ticket. I said I don't believe I need a ticket. <laughs> sorry to make it awkward, I'm sorry. I have a tendency to do that. I, I, I know you're staring at the barcode on the back of my head. And I'd just like to let you know that I don't like it. So we're playing for real now, and I'm just going to ignore Chuck completely. Welcome to the Dartmoor Garden Show, where uh, everything looks absolutely splendid. Bunch of messages from her calling me a shitty cousin. <laughs> What's this lady talking about? Also, you look like you've got an 80-year-old head. <laughs> what are your eyeballs just... <laughs> oh my goodness. Now, before I actually figure out why I'm here and what I need to do, I think... <laughs> where did you get a ginormous gelato from? <laughs> off a bit, would ya? You seem to have dropped your gelato and it seems to have fallen through the... <laughs> He's got another one in his pocket. <laughs> oh, goodness. That man is prepared. Anyway, as I was saying, my first order of business before I figure out what I'm actually doing is to head over to the graveyard where Diana left me a little something something to... Look, I'm, I'm obviously not fooling anybody. We already know what my plan is for today. I also think this might be one of the targets because she's wearing a stupid dress and... Stupid shoes and stupid pants. Inspiration. Oh, you need inspiration? I've got some inspiration in my pocket, actually, uh, in the form <laughs> in the form of a whole bunch of explosives. Look, you know what? I'll get you acquainted with them shortly. I've just got to go pick up another one. All right, so where is this dead drop that Diana let? Oh, that's right. I don't even have a mini map up. All right, that's a little bit better. Oh, all right, there we go. Do not eliminate Ken Takeuchi and eliminate Mono. All right, well, that's the, I'm pretty sure that's the dumb lady in the, in the dumb dress. But first, I need to collect my super secret package, which I believe is hidden right behind this tombstone. Oh, yes. Proximity Semtex Demolition Block MK3. Oh, Dina, you know me too well. <clears throat> Sorry, I just taken a leak. Taken a leak in the cemetery. That's probably that's not very... That's pretty disrespectful. <laughs> that's not much better, mate. Oh, nice. Baseball. And that's what you get for... Throwing your cigarette butt on the floor, you disgusting cretin. Actually, hold on. If I were to dress myself as a security guard, that would mean that I would have free reign of the garden show to place my explosives wherever I see fit. All right, I'm just going to put this guy somewhere and uh, keep, <laughs> keep him on standby, but inside of his clothes, you know, so that he keeps them warm for whenever I'm ready to put them on. Ah, yes, this box will do nicely. No smoking, you see that? <laughs> Did you see that? No smoking. You dingleberry. Oh, hey, that dude dropped a cell phone. I wonder what he was playing on it before he was involuntarily forced to play baseball with his head. Hmm? Oh my goodness. It's Raid Shadow Legends, the mobile game that's taking the world by storm. And they're paying me to tell you to download their game. I actually play Raid myself and have for like a year now <laughs> since I did an integration last year. And I have all these super cool warriors and soldiers and stuff that I like to repeatedly pit against bosses that they have no hope of ever defeating. But if that's not your thing, there are other things about the game that you might like, like being able to collect all of the characters of which there are over 400. Within Raid's massive roster of characters, though, there are factions, and I am obligated to talk about this one. These are the Banner Lords, and this is their story. So basically, the Banner Lords are a bunch of humans that are often spotted on the battlefield wearing buckets on their heads and sipping the finest of Earl Grey teas in between battles. They hail from a beautiful kingdom somewhere out to the west of Teleria, though their land didn't always belong to them. You see, things finally reached a tipping point when the Banner Lords got tired of the orcs and their other green-skinned friends scaring all the beautiful ladies and chasing them out of town. You see, to the Banner Lords, living in a kingdom full of men was a fate worse than death. So this old bloke dropped a massive whopper on the kingdom and, yeah, this happened. Anyway, after that, Fabio, the most beautiful man in the world, was appointed king and the realm lived happily ever after. Until the next generation of orcs rocked up with pegs on their noses, ready to seek revenge for what old mate did to their forefathers. Is this the pivotal moment in Telerian history? Well, I don't know. But you know what I do know about Raid Shadow Legends? It's that. You can grind for thousands of hours to get gear, of which there are literally a bazillion items. It's also pretty neat that the Raid people regularly update their game and add new events and stuff for people to participate in, like this month's clan-focused update that brings quests and improvements to the clan system. And they've also got some brand new champions you can collect by spending your hard-earned fragments in the Doom Tower. 
How exciting. You could also PvP other characters, which I enjoy doing because it allows you to flex your E muscles and show all those other nerds how much of a bigger nerd you are. And the graphics are pretty nice too. Anyway, click the link down below or scan the QR code on the screen so that the people paying me for this promotion know that it was worthwhile and so that I can ask them to pay me double what they paid me this time next time. By doing that, you'll not only put a smile on 47's face, but you'll get a head start in Raid Shadow Legends that includes an epic hero called Chinoru. Not quite as powerful as the epic hero called Cheru, but you know, it is what it is. And you'll also get 200,000 silver pesos, an XP boost, and an energy refill, and also an ancient shard so you can summon another champion and immediately send them to their <laughs> ultimate doom the second you get into the game. Click on your inbox up here to claim your rewards. All right, so now that that's done, let me go through the list of cheeky cheeky toys that I brought with me today to help me get the job done. I've got my ICA-19 full auto stealth ducky edition, a remote CX demolition block, a remote CX demolition block MK2, and a proximity Semtex demolition block M... Oh, hold on. That is not... That is not what I... I didn't actually want that. I actually wanted the remote Semtex demolition block MK3, but I, I guess I guess that's going to have to do. And yes, if you haven't already figured it out, my master plan is to put all three blocks underneath this lady and blow her out of her boots. And the pants and the dress. <laughs> And the silly hair. Just, you know, boom! How are you, sir? Oh, you know, I'm pretty good. Pretty all right. Pretty not too bad. Not terrible. Been better. Actually, I've had a really rough week. It's been tough. Diane has, uh, you know, been, been really... Di huh, what? You uh, are not normal, mister. <laughs> you figured that out quick. All right, anyway, it seems like uh, over here it's been updated to let me know that this is the target and this is the gentleman who needs to stay alive. And that lady's eyes are creeping me. <laughs> they griefing me the frick out. What in the world is got? Oh, you're not so terrifying up. You look a little bit less freaky up here, but, you know, if I move over here, <laughs> I'm pretty sure she's about to kill all three people that she's talking to. Ah, uh, smoker. You're a, you're a smoker. You're smoking kills, you know. So does three kilos of Semtex Demolition Block MK2 block. Oh, well, this is perfect. All I need is my security guard outfit. I place one right there. I place one right there. I place one right there. And then you go back to... Where are you from? Uh, Sans Parel Mnonbulilu. I think she's probably from France. So uh, three kilos of Semtex Demolition Block MK2 block from England all the way back to France. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I can make that work. But first, let's take a beautiful, peaceful walk through the gardens of the Dartmoor Flower Show. Oh, it's so serene. It's so beautiful. It's so green. You look very well today. You are talking without moving your mouth. I'm very, very impressed at your ventriloquist skills. You're also kind of creepy, and I'm pretty sure that you're trying to sell drugs. Yeah, hey, bro. Uh, yeah, hey, bro. I just wanted to let you know that I'm pretty sure that, that lady's selling... Crack cocaines! Ah, uh, I see you're, a, you're an appreciator of dusty speakers. <laughs> <laughs> so am I. Oh my goodness, look at that. These two are at it again. Gosh, you guys just... Uh, can I help you? You're kind of inside my personal space. Well, you didn't have any problem with him getting inside your personal face. I mean space. Oh, wow, look at these flowers. That's absolutely beautiful, isn't it? Mate. What are you doing, you creep? Look at that, England in all of its glory. Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> the grass is floating. As I was saying, England in all of its beauty. If you can exclude the floating grass. Hey, man, I saw you playing pocket billiards. Don't, th don't think I didn't see it. So over here, we've got a speedboat key. Perfect for my getaway. Right over here, I've got a crowbar. Perfect place to get drunk if you're a bird. Nice shoes, mister. How can you even see my shoes? You're just trying to hit on me. Oh, I see what's going on here. We've got different pavilions or areas for all of the guests. So this is the dude that we need to keep. There he is. This is the dude that we need to keep alive. He's uh, ex mission is definitely better than boot ladies. Have a good one. Thanks, bro. So we do have a garden rake here, which I'm pretty sure I could just put on the floor right here. Careful, mate. Careful. You don't... Oh, <laughs> oh goodness. Oh, poor fella. Well, he's not dead. Oh, God save the green. That's that's so... Oh, I, I get it. I get it. She she's, she's a pothead. Oh, yes. I've got a great idea. Now, she walks off that way, and then I'm like, hey, bro, I've got some emetic rat poison. I'm going to put it all up in your colfe. You know, I apologize in advance, but you, you, you kind of deserve it if you don't notice the noxious fumes pouring into your face from your coffee cup. Oh, God. Hmm. Hmm. Wonder why. Wonder why. Uh, yeah, it's a mystery, that one. See ya. See ya later.
Take care. Anyway, I guess it's time to take down the target and get the first stage of this escalation done and dusted. Just gonna head back into the cemetery real quick. Change into this unconscious sweaty man's outfit. And now we wait. <laughs> wait for that. Oh, no, no, wait, where are you going? Oh, you stupid. No, you're... You're a stupid. Would you mind taking a few steps away from me, Would please? you mind not ruining everything that I've been um, planning? Very inconsiderate. Oh. Okay, not, not, that was, it was not, oh, goodness. It was not meant to, that was, no. But you know what? All right, stuff it, stuff it. I did it, I did it. I'm not, fine. I did it, I did it. So what? What, oh. Ah, what are you going to do about it? You'll never take me alive, you dirty butt cheeks. Move it, lady. Just need to get to my yacht. Oh, I can do it. I can do it. I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna make it. And this time I've come with a completely different outfit, so nobody will remember what I did last time I was at the annual garden show in Dartmoor. And it seems like this time around I need to take down Gulshan Yazdani and Evelyn Crane. And you just got a baseball to the back of your cranium. Actually, come to think of it, both of those targets are the ones that you can poison, so I... Uh, oh. Thought I saw a poisonous frog hopping around the ground. Ah, oh, poisonous frog. Yes, great idea. Okay, so just pop that there. Sorry, that's a really strong frog cage. And that's a really deep tabletop. All right, here we go. Here we go. She's going to slam it down. Did you not learn from the last time, <laughs> lady? <laughs> Don't worry, lady. I'm a doctor. And uh, I believe that uh, you, you, the cause of your symptoms is a severe um, case of dehydration. So allow me to hydrate you in this filthy public toilet. Watch out for the urinal. Oops. That'll do it. Excuse me, Madame Cougar. Could you take a selfie somewhere else, please? It's not very good lighting anyway. You're like, your face is covered in shade. All right, this should do it. Oops, I dropped my sheep shearers. Who's there? Not me. And now all we do is wait. <laughs> wait for this. Hello, sir. I've prepped it for you. It's all ready to go. Look at that. It's a special flavor. It's called drink toilet water till you drown flavor. Oh, God. Oh, I don't feel so good. Uh-oh. Right this way, mate. Right this way. Don't worry. I'm a doctor. Drinking this toilet bowl full of filthy water is exactly what you need. Just make sure you don't bang your head on the urinal after because uh, I saw a lady. <gasps> she, she she died from from that. Oh, you hit, oh, you hit the urinal as well. That's two people that died today from banging their face on the urinal. Terrible. And here I am for the third time, once again, wearing a completely different disguise so nobody knows it's me. And this time around, it looks like I need to keep Takeyushi alive and Cornelius Stuyvesant alive, and I need to take down Sato and Phillips, which is actually really great because I hate both of them. So I'm just going to give this guy the old baseball treatment one more time, and I'm going to see if finally I can put my explosives to good use. Now, so far, there hasn't been any opportunity to use that microphone on the stage, but I feel like maybe, considering this is the final round, this might be the chance for me to do that. Swap with Branson microphone. I don't have a Branson. You're not holding a phone, lady. You, you're not holding. You're pretending. There's not really a phone there. You didn't put it in your pocket. You're crazy. Well, 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 a van with a sliding door. What's the bet that the microphone I'm looking for is right inside of here? Oh, baby. I've got the dingly dangly. Though I am going to need a change of clothes because I am apparently hunted. Just that nobody knows it yet, but they want me real bad. <clears throat> uh, definitely not the sus security guard. Definitely, definitely not sus. <laughs> they go from looking for me in a security guard outfit to thinking I'm completely normal. Walking into the party with the Halloween outfit on. Anyway, I'm just gonna head over here. Where do you think you're going? Around this corner, obviously. If I'm very sneaky. I think I can sneak through here without anybody noticing. Not. <laughs> this area is off limits. What do you mean this area is off limits? I'm not inside. Look at me. What a handsome devil. <laughs> <laughs> eh, no pun intended. Oh, Sato's coming. Sir, you are currently trespassing. I need you to follow me. All right, sorry, sorry. I thought that was the exit. I got, got lost. Sorry, bro. Now, if I do this quick enough and just stuff him in here before anyone notices and then steal his outfit, I'm pretty sure nobody's going to... Hold on. Right, they're all dead. Now I've changed outfit and uh, it wasn't me. I didn't do it. Mr. Sato, this, uh, I believe, belongs to you. Is that yours? I think it is. All right, so for three kilos of explosive... Oh, they didn't all work. 
You know, I shouldn't have ordered this crap off Wish. There was an explosion. I think we're under attack. Oh, really? Thanks for letting me know. Thank you. I'll, I'll be sure to run away. What's going to happen if I place Semtex on the barbecue stovetop? Probably nothing, because it's Hitman 3. <laughs> Anyone want a barbecued block of Semtex? Uh, Lucy, why are you in here? I put Semtex explosives on the barbecue for you. So they say that people in glass houses shouldn't shouldn't throw bricks of CX demolition block MK2 block. Anyway, I feel like my, my work here is probably done. What's going on, boys? This is a tip for all the hard work. Love what you're doing. <laughs> and now just the way I came in, I'm going back out. Obviously, uh, not- Oh! Guys, stop! I don't wanna- I don't wanna fight with everybody. I just wanted to blow up these stupid cars. <clears throat> Obviously not before blowing up all of these stupid cars. You know, it wouldn't be complete if we didn't walk away from the scene of a Michael Bay movie. Oh yeah, that'll do it. Oh, boom, boom, boom! Alrighty. Won't be needing that anymore. See you later, Dartmoor. It's been real. Real freaking not too bad. It was all right.